Hey, welcome back everyone and today we are talking about all about FRM 2023. So in this video, we're going to be talking about what is FRM, who should do FRM, what is the eligibility for FRM, what are the fees or the cost for the FRM and uh, the important dates of the exam in 2023. All the things that is related to the FRM. We're going to be talking about that in this particular video now if you're new to our channel make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel that will really help us go a long way and with that being said guys let's get started all right guys this is our website www.wordies.com and over here you can see the package if you want for english you can purchase this thing if you're looking out for a live online class for hindi plus english this is something that we're going to be starting from january first week all right all right, so what is FRM? FRM or Financial Risk Manager, okay? It's a certification in financial risk management industry, okay? So if you ever think of financial risk management, the one thing that will come to your mind is the FRM program, okay? It's a globally recognized certification in financial risk management. And it is offered by the Global Association of Risk Professionals. Also, we call this as GARP. And this institute is based out of US. Okay. When it comes to risk management, FRM is considered to be a gold standard in the risk management industry. It's the elite certification that you can have if you want to get into risk management. Let's look at the statistics of FRM. Currently, we have 76,000 plus members and they are present in 190 plus countries so you can imagine it's truly a global certification 190 plus countries you will see certified frms talking about registrations just in 2021 there are 80,000 plus applicants who applied for the frm program in 2021 alone and this number is growing at the average rate of more than 11 percent every year so if i talk about 2022 alone the number of candidates is roughly somewhere around 90,000. Okay, talking about the benefits of FRM, the very first thing is that of a global recognition. FRM is a globally recognized certification. You do the FRM in India, you go abroad, let's say US, UK, Canada, you go anywhere, the FRM is recognized over there as well. And this statistics clearly speaks for that. All right, so it's a truly global certification. You get recognition, not just in your home country, but also in many other different countries. The second benefit that we have with the FRM certification is that the FRM is deemed to be equivalent to a master's degree in 10 countries. Now, what those 10 countries are, I'll take you to the official website of the GARP and over there, I'm gonna let you know what are those 10 countries. So let's just go. Okay, so here I am on the official GARP website, that's garp.org, and you can see the comparable degree levels over here. Now, according to this independent uh, benchmark study, which is conducted by the UK ENIC, formerly, which was UK NERIC, this is how the comparable degree looks like, okay? So these are the 10 countries. Let me just scroll it down, and you can see for yourself, talking specifically about India, it's comparable to an Indian master's degree standard and or the national qualifications framework level nine you can check for the other nine countries as well moving on to the third benefit and that is distinguishing yourself from peers now definitely frm certification will add the necessary skill set that you need in the risk management industry and you set yourself apart from the peers in the financial risk management industry now to explain you about the fourth benefit let me tell you that large companies and banks they need risk management professionals and risk management industry is also growing after the financial crisis and even after the covid the companies have realized the importance of having uh, risk management or risk management professionals so definitely there are enhanced career opportunities and if you ever decide into getting into risk management industry the frm is your go-to certification for financial risk management okay now moving on to who should do frm certification so if you are a finance professional or currently you're working in finance domain then you can consider enrolling for the frm certification now as an example 
if you have done your CFA or you're planning to do your CFA or maybe uh, you've already enrolled for the CFA course then in that situation FRM is the right course for you because CFA plus FRM that's a very demanding combination in the market and also the curriculum of CFA and FRM they somewhat overlap so definitely if you are into CFA then FRM will be helpful and uh, that will ultimately lead to a good value for your overall profile now talking about the MBA in finance if you have done your MBA in finance or planning to go for your masters in finance then uh, you can consider enrolling for the FRM now this certification will help you in your MBA journey as well as the combination of MBA in finance plus FRM is is also demanding and is definitely worth it talking about the other certification that we have is Kaya or CAIA the alternative investment course and uh, people also enrolling for this they they do FRM just to enhance their overall profile or to have more certifications as well. Now I would like to add that FRM has gained a significant popularity in the chartered accountancy community. Lot of CAs who have done their chartered accountancy or maybe they are still doing their CA, they have turned their attention to the FRM certification because they, they want to move to the risk side of their overall work profile so a lot of CAs I have a student who's who's, who's completed a CA and uh, it's been almost like 15 to 16 years and uh, right now the candidate has enrolled for the FRM level 1 so definitely people from the CA community also is doing or also enrolling for the FRM certification and apart from that we've got the CPA ACCA CMA and the CS who can consider enrolling for the FRM in order to enhance their skill set Second are the people who wants to change their career path. Now, there are some people who wants to transition their career from, let's say, being into operations for a very long period of time. And now they, they want to move to the risk management projects or the risk management of the, the finance invest, investing side. So, so FRM can actually provide you a great platform which will help you to make that move. And there are some people who have got plenty of experience into some other field. They just want that domain knowledge of uh, of risk management so that they can uh, move to their desired role so frm can also help you in transitioning to your preferred career path now i would also like to add one more thing that there are many non non-finance uh, background professionals who have done their uh, btech or bachelors in engineering and they've got their technical skills and all they need is the domain knowledge of the risk management so that they can work in their own preferred career path or in their in the IT projects in the risk management or a banking project so even these candidates can consider enrolling for the FRM certification that will definitely help you to transition into that and just to let you know I in my recent batch I have a student who was from uh, the Indian Institute of Technology the such a premier institute in India so definitely the the benefit of the FRM is also more appealing to to, to a person from a non-finance background as well and finally as a student also you can consider the FRM certification yes GARP gives you that opportunity that as a student you can enroll for the FRM and you can pass both the exams of FRM part 1 and part 2 and so this is an excellent opportunity that for students after completing their 12th standard maybe right before they graduate let's say uh, in the second year of their graduation they can enroll here they can pass the first part of FRM the last year of graduation they can pass their second part of the FRM exam and just after and once they graduate they have the FRM on their resume and this would also demonstrate to your future employer that yes you have the skill set or you have the knowledge regarding the risk management okay talking about the eligibility for the FRM certification well there is no maximum age bar right after your 12th standard you can go ahead and you can register and there is no maximum age bar even if you are you have 13 uh, you have 15 years of experience 20 year or 20 years of work experience you can register yourself for the FRM certification if you want to get into the risk management industry and there is also no professional experience is ne needed to enroll for the FRM and that is the reason as a student you may not have any professional experience 
that's okay you can still register for the frm exam okay now before i go ahead and i talk about the salary or the career opportunities let me briefly explain you about the different job roles that actually exist in the risk management industry okay so let's just suppose that we have a bank over here and let's say the first function of a bank is to give out loans to the customers or the borrowers the second thing is let's say they are invest they are making some investments in the securities market and let's say the third thing is uh, they have people process systems so let's just say one simple thing is that okay the bank is also exposed to uh, computer systems and there is a cyber risk for that right so on and so forth and broadly i can say that okay it's part of the operations of a bank right so uh, operations i can just give you an as an example i can say that okay it's a cyber risk now talking about this particular thing let's let's understand what different risk that the bank can actually face so if they're giving out loans there is a possibility that the, the the borrowers might default right so the risk that we have over here is what we call as a credit risk right the investments the securities movements they go up and down that can be a good news bad news depending on the bank's position but there is a risk certainly right and that risk is something what we call as a market risk right and then there, there can be n number of operational risk so we say that okay there's going to be operational risk that the banks may actually face so now being an frm certification if i want to describe the job role you can work as a market risk analyst who will be handling the market risk within a bank so a market risk manager or a market risk analyst is going to be the person who's going to be responsible for the market risk of a particular bank similarly a credit risk analyst is going to be the person who's going to be responsible for handling the credit risk of a particular bank now let me also explain to you that within this market risk there's going to be multiple different divisions or there's going to be multiple teams that that they're going to be working on different aspect of market risk one may be working on a model validation one may be working on a model development maybe some other will be working on any other uh, uh, things that we have in market risk right so multiple teams going to be working there and you may see yourself working in either of these teams so i hope that this pretty much gives you a broad a very high level overview of the different job roles that you may expect to see in a bank all right now these job roles they are not comprehensive you may see some other job roles as well all right so talking about the job roles there's going to be a risk manager there's going to be a risk analyst there's going to be a market risk manager or a market risk analyst a credit risk analyst operational risk manager who's going to be handling the operations operations of a particular bank and as i said there's going to be multiple teams working on different things and you can break down the operational risk also so on and so forth right uh, there's going to be a regulatory risk manager now let me explain about this regulatory risk manager banks are regulated by the supervisors now regulators after the financial crisis of 2007 they have pushed the banks to manage their risk very effectively this also emphasizes the fact that yes risk management is very crucial to the bank they have to manage this from regulatory perspective as well right so clearly the risk management is something that the banks should have now talking about this regulatory risk manager he's going to be the person who's going to be responsible for understanding the new laws any kind of proposed laws or any kind of compliance and how does it affect the overall bank so that's the core of a very high level overview of a regulatory risk basically understanding the regulations and ensuring the compliance then finally we have a very leadership a very high level position that 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 exists in the job role and that is of a chief risk officer cro cro is the executive level kind of a position that exists in the risk management industry and the cro is the person who's going to be responsible for managing all these different managers that exist in each of these different divisions of a bank all right so the all these managers will be reporting to the cro all right so he's the topmost position in the risk management just like 
the chief financial officer we have the cro in the risk manager and as i said these roles are not comprehensive you may see some other roles as well that may exist within a particular bank but i hope that this pretty much gives you a very high level overview as to what you can expect and uh, uh, you may be working in a credit risk team handling some aspect of credit risk right talking about the different industry types i've just explained you about the banking may you the insurance company they may have their own uh, risk and they need a risk management function and so on and so forth so frms can also work in insurance banking asset management companies they may have their own risk that that pertaining to the asset management industry so they need some risk professionals to manage or mitigate their overall risk there's also a demand for credit trading agencies as well and now let's just suppose an example that okay the banks wants to establish a, a new risk management function so they need some it professionals who understand or basically have some sort of a risk management knowledge about that particular risk management function right so within the it space as well let's say that you are a project manager or you are a business analyst and you understand or you do have this particular industry knowledge about the risk management then pretty much you can work in these kind of projects as well talking about industry and job role guys i want to say that there can be opportunities that can be explored in uh, startups as well uh, you can also work in the fintech space uh you can also get into data science with the help of their risk management fundamentals all right okay coming back to the official website again to give you more uh insight about the employability with the frms so as you can see frms are constantly in demand by the world's leading companies and of course banks uh certified frms are currently employed in more than 190 countries and territories worldwide and you can have a look at the top 10 companies employing the most frms and uh, these are the top 10 companies uh, bank of china hsbc kpmg credit suisse pwc so on and so forth and uh, these are the top 10 global banks that employing the most frms and uh, over here you can see these banks over here all right so that's something that you can find on the website and this also speaks about the employability of the frm certified candidates okay talking about the salary now you can expect in the range of 6 lakh to 12 lakhs per annum once you have your frm certification now of course this is a very subjective topic salary totally depends upon the individual's past professional experience their qualifications and many other factors right but broadly this is the range that you can expect once you have your frm certification okay so i hope that you have pretty much clear idea about the job roles and and as i said this is not comprehensive enough there may be some other roles that may actually exist in the risk management industry right now let's talk about the frm fees and the important dates of the frm exam the very first thing that i want you to know is that there are two parts in frm exam the very first one is what we say as frm part 1 and the second one is frm part 2 so you will have to register for both these parts so now let's say that you want to register for frm part 1 then initially as a one time fee only you have to pay 400 us dollars for the enrollment fee okay so let's just take an example in next year there is going to be months three attempts that you will see frm part 1 and part 2 both so first one would be in may second is in august 23 and the third one is in november 2023 so let's just suppose that you want to go ahead and you want to register for frm part 1 in may 2023 you want to give your exam on may 2023 so there are two options for you the first one is what we call as a early registration and the second one is a standard registration so if you register for early within this time frame that is december 1st 2022 so the early registrations have already begun and up until this january 31st 2023 if you register with the garp the institute you will have to pay 600 dollars as the registration fee plus the 400 us dollars as the enrollment one time fee so your total cost for registering for frm part 1 will be 1000 us dollars get it and then if you miss this particular date let's say that you miss this date you don't want to register for early then you you are eligible for a standard registration and the last day to register 
under the standard is March 31st. So if you register via standard registration, you'll have to pay $800 plus the 400 US dollars for enrollment fee. And that is going to be your 1200 US dollars. So that's going to be your fees for FRM part one. Now let's just suppose that you passed this part one attempt in May 2023 and you feel that, okay, let's register for part two in November 2023 because within one year you can actually complete both the exams of FRM. So you decide that, okay, you want to go for November 2023. So then again, you will have to, you have two options early or standard and then it starts from May till July. You can register. You just have to pay 600 US dollars. There is no enroll enrollment fee for part two. It's just a one time fee that you pay initially as a registration okay towards the frm exam all right so then you just pay 600 or 800 dollars within this particular time slot and let's just say and, and let's just suppose that a candidate does not pass in their first attempt let's just say that they they could not make it then in that situation they will have to retake the frm part one or part two exam what whatever that is and then again they'll have these two choices for 2023 so this this particular rate that you see here it's there for 2023 attempt okay three attempts in the in, in the next year okay now let's talk about that in may we have an exam but what are the dates well talking about the important dates of the exam this for part one it's going to start from may 6th to 19th you can select any one single day from may 6th to the 19th of may 2023 so it's a 14 day window period for part one that's going to happen in may 2023 <clears throat> for part two it's going to be may 20 to 26 you can select any one single day for your part two exam okay talking about the other window that we have that is in august it's only a one single day now make a note that in august 2023 it's only a one single day for the exam for part one that's going to happen on 5th of august and that's going to be am that means morning session and part two it's going to happen on the same day august 5th and uh, it's going to be in afternoon okay so that's the important date for the august exam and for the november exam it's going to start from november 4th till 17th again it's a 14 day window period and the part two it's going to happen from november 18 till 24 all right it's a seven day window period so i hope that this particular slide is might be very helpful for you in future okay talking about how to become frm certified and finally the pattern of the exam well talking about the pattern of the exam first the exam format is like this there are 100 questions in part one you get four hours to complete that it's a multiple choice questions with four options that you will see on the exam and there is no negative marking on the exam all right, that's for part one. Talking about part two, again, there are 80 questions. Four hours is something that you get to for these 80 questions on part two exam. Multiple choice, four options, no negative marking whatsoever. Okay, and these are the four books we have for part one. And these are six books that we have for part two. So this is the syllabus for FRM part one and part two. Okay, so that's something that we have. And just a very small thing, the curriculum of the FRM exam is updated almost every year. Though the update does not is not very large, only a very small proportion is changed, like 5%, 10%, 15%, so on and so forth. But yes, they, the institute does update the curriculum because they want you to stay relevant as to what is happening in the financial risk management industry. So that's the overall uh, theme of updation of the curriculum. And talking about how you can become the FRM certified, well, you have to first pass part one. That's the very first thing. Then you have to pass part two. And then you need to have two years of relevant work experience in risk management field. Once you have all these three things, then you become FRM certified. All right, so that's something that you should know about the FRM certification. I'll discuss more about different topics that, that we have within these, these things in much detail in other videos. So I hope that you like this video and thank you so much for your time. Do give us a like and do subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet. All right, thank you.